Today's horror manga dub and narration is Moro Hakayama Station. From the horror anthology 100 Ghost Stories of My Own Death by Matano Anji. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to all the voice actresses involved. Check them out in the description below as well as pinned in the top comment. Anyways, without further ado, let's get right into this chilling tale. Our story begins with a young girl at a station, blushing as she gazes at a young man the next day at school. <gasps> You're going to confess to him, Yumi? Yeah, we've only got a week left until graduation. I can't leave here with any regrets. Do you have anyone you're interested in, Mita? Huh? Well, I suppose I do. <gasps> really? Who is it? He's someone I've seen on the morning train daily for three years. No way! How did you two get introduced? Uh, we've actually never talked before. What? He doesn't ride the same train as I do. His runs in the opposite direction. I'm only able to see him in the short time where his train makes a stop before it leaves. But during that time, he's always looking my way. He's so cool. My heart always skips a beat. <sighs> All you've seen is his face, though. You have no idea what the other side of him could be like. He's just as wonderful a person as he looks. <sighs> if you really think so, why not try talking to him tomorrow? Then, you can see for yourself. Hmm. Later that day... He's not going to be some two-faced loser. <sighs> Yumi was right about one thing. I don't want this to be goodbye without even talking to him. She runs as fast as she can toward the subway. It's this one. And then... She peers inside. And what she sees is that young man. He's looking at me today. The doors are closing. Oh, I wanted to talk to him. I'm about to let him go again. And then the subway takes off in a burst of speed as the train rattles and the two of them look at each other in their eyes. Say something? Uh, um, d do you know who I am? He stares at her for a moment, and then he says, Yes, yes. She looks at him in awe as she utters, Would you want to get to know each other? Looking down, she awaits his reply as he whispers, I think it's best if we don't. I think it's best if we don't. Uh. But that is when she notices something. She bends down, looking at him from behind. What the? What she sees, she cannot believe her very eyes. Literally, this man is two-faced. One coming from the front and another head, attached from the back. Ah! She looks at him once more as sweat drips down her face, causing her to scream at the top of her lungs. Ah! The subway comes to a stop as they announce the station. Moro Hakayama, Moro Hakayama. Which means, Double Grave Mountain. She lets out another scream as she runs as fast as she can, but that man's voice lingers behind her. Uh-oh, uh-oh. She continues to run, taking one final glance behind her. But she sees that every single one of the passengers is uncanny. Their faces, emotionless, staring into her as if staring into her very soul. 
They too are two-faced. <gasps> That's when a voice calls from behind her. Mita? What are you doing? It's her friend Yumi. But in that instance... Yumi? Yumi, help! Me? She realizes the horrible truth. Her friend Yumi is also two-faced. Mita? 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 Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I'd like to take this time to give a very special thanks to my Patreons and YouTube members. Sarah De Jesus, Motosurf, Leo, Ace Animus, Minue, and Rich Harris. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, you're important, and you matter. Have a good night, everyone. Goodbye.